cute little Santa mug. But I'm kind of cheating because it's not hot chocolate in here. I it really can't stay. It's cold outside. I got to go but away. It's cold outside. This evening has been that you so very nice. I'll hold your hands. Just like so I was inspired by your last video to make this video, which is going to be 10 reasons why you moving sucks. The first reason is that there's no way that I can just show up when I'm bored and know that I'm going to be wanted and that I'll have someone to hang out with. The second reason is there's no blue eyes for me to get lost in. The third reason is that Harvest Moon is a schmahoover acceptable thing, but it is not a socially acceptable thing. I learned that the hard way. The fourth reason is that meeting someone named Nate is not nearly as exciting without you there. Not that I met anyone named Nate. But if I did, and you weren't there, what's the point? The fifth reason is that steamrolling alone is both boring and sad. Number six is that basically half my brain is gone, so when I half remember a funny thing that happened but I can't actually remember the specifics, I can't, there's nowhere, no one for me to ask because nobody else is there, probably, generally, most of the funny things in my life include you and me, and if you're not there and I don't remember, it's gone. There's nothing I can do about it. Number seven, wanna go on a late night DQ run, Maddie? Well, have fun feeling fat and alone. Number eight is that no one gets my misfits, lame is, or YouTube type references, which really sucks. The ninth reason is that I always have to explain myself because nobody else knows everything about me, every thought I've had, every experience, and it's just so much work to explain things. With you, I just say something, you get it. It's fine, connection made, no explaining. Other people, not the same situation. And the tenth reason that you moving away sucks, Holly, is that there's nobody to be the Valjean to my Javert. See you soon.